In this video, I'm going to show you how I brew a French press, but just a little bit elevated. We're going to do it in the S-Pro. Come check it out. Hello everyone, welcome back or welcome to Extraction Hacker. My name is Davis and today we're going to be brewing French press style coffee in the S-Pro. Now I have to be honest with you, I'm not the biggest fan of French press style coffee, but I have a barista friend who turned me on to the S-Pro. He said, try it, you'll like it. And, and I actually do like it. Usually when you brew with a French press, you know, you've all heard about the sediment or the sludge that happens on the bottom. But really what turns me off about French press is it's just, it's just body, body, body. There's no flavor nuance. The S-Pro has a special system, this dual microfilter system. One microfilter sits into the other, clicks into place. And then the stem that you press down goes into the double microfilter. And then you brew like a regular French press. The interesting thing is it has this rubber seal around the edge. So it's kind of a hybrid between the aero press and a French press. And then you press it down. Now this is the 32 ounce model. Uh, I'm not going to brew in this one in this video. We're going to brew in a smaller one. And, and I'll tell you a funny story about that. And then there's also the ultralight, which is for travel. So again, it has the same dual microfilter. This one has actually um, two stages of seals, but this presses down and you can make French press on the go. S-Pro French press on the go. Has a nice little handle. I've actually traveled with this one and I'll do another review video of this one. This one is super handy. Uh, it's great for traveling, especially in places where you can't get good coffee. I'm looking at you, Las Vegas. So anyway, let's put these guys away. And we are going to brew in the 18 ounce version. So uh, my barista friend, the one I told you about, uh, after he said, you know, try one, you'll like it. I got the 18 ounce and this is actually really good, but it doesn't brew a lot of coffee. It's a full cup for one person or maybe two half cups for two people. So the looks are kind of deceiving because it looks like it's, it's really big, but this is actually constructed of dual wall vacuum sealed stainless steel. So it's, uh, it's nice and hefty, keeps the, the coffee nice and piping hot, but it doesn't give you a lot of volume to, br to brew in there. So I had this one and I was enjoying it. And then I thought, I'd like another one so I can have uh, friends over and we can have multiple cups of coffee. So for my birthday, I got a, a monogram, a special monogram S-Pro. And the company sent me a nice monogrammed one, except they got the monogramming all wrong. It was horrible. So I contacted the company. They did right by me. They sent me another monogrammed one. And then they sent me another one. And another one. So I was getting S-Pros and I was sending them back. Uh, luckily, it stopped at five. Uh, I actually talked to the owner of the S-Pro company at uh, Coffee Expo a couple of years ago. And he said, if this company keeps sending them to you, just keep them. So yes, I have a collection, a flight, if you will, of S-Pro uh, brewers. So we're only going to use one in this video, but um, I have enough for probably all of you to come over and we can have coffee. So my recipe is similar to a French press re recipe. Uh, we don't have to let it sit um, the extra time that a lot of uh, French press proponents say that you have to. Um, if you want more flavor out of it, you can, except with the micro filters and how it pushes the, the coffee well away from the water, you're not getting any, getting any extra brewing time out of that. So the recipe is going to be 30 grams of coffee. And today we're using a Brazil. And I picked this coffee, especially for the S-Pro, because it's a medium roast. So it's not the dark roast with the heavy body that you usually associate with a French press. This is gonna be a medium roast with some flavor nuance. The Brazil has some peach and some citrus. And it's, it's really nice to brew in a French press style because it's pretty easy, a little messy to clean up, but it's pretty easy. It's done in you know four or so minutes. Uh, but we can get some flavor nuance out of a coffee like this Brazil. So we're going to use 30 grams of coffee and 500 grams of water. So that'll give us 
a 16.7 brew ratio, which is, uh, which is, which is good for, for a French press style. So the way I brew, again, this has the, um, the same uh, dual micro filter. Uh, you can also use paper filters in here if you want, if you want to get even more of that flavor nuance and make it more like a pour over. Um, these are still in the package, so you see I haven't used these yet. Uh, but I rotate my coffee making devices uh, and sometimes I just want more body uh, with a little bit of flavor nuance and I think that's what the S-Pro is good for. So again, we will use 30 grams of coffee. Now, most tutorials you'll see show you to use uh, a really coarse ground for or coarse grind for your coffee. Uh, I think medium uh, is really good for this. Now this is an immersion style brew. So uh, the coffee is actually going to sit with the water for the entire brew time. We're not pushing it through. Uh, we're not agitating it with, uh, with pours or stirs. So it's gonna sit there. Um, so the, the medium grind, although coarse gives you more surface area, the medium grind is going to allow a really nice extraction in something like a French press. Now there are you know, other coffees, uh, other uh, roast profiles that will do better or worse uh, in, in different styles of French press, but um, this, or for grinds. For this one though, we're gonna use the medium grind. And again, this is 30 grams of coffee. Pop that in there. Uh, with the S-Pro, you do want to make sure that you get all the grinds off the lip. If you're a little sloppy like I was, putting it in there. So 30 grams of coffee. And then we're going to add 500 grams of 205 degree water. So depending on the type of coffee, you want to be somewhere between 200 and 205 degrees. And again, we'll just pour that in there. 500 grams. We're going to make sure to coat all of that ground coffee. There are marker lines inside of the S-Pro. So if you don't have a scale, uh, you can use the, the brew guides from S-Pro or from many other places. Uh, a lot of coffee bags are now printing on the side of the coffee bag uh, the volumetric and the weight measurements that you should use. So that's 500 grams of coffee, and then I'm gonna take a long spoon and I'm just gonna stir to agitate the top. Take this off. Actually, I'll put it in front here. Take the lid, push it right on top. I'm not gonna press it down yet. And I'm gonna start a timer for four minutes. And away we go. So let's wait four minutes and come back to press out the S-Pro. All right, there we go. That's four minutes. So when you reach four minutes, and if you're doing a traditional French press, or even with the S-Pro, you can go a little bit longer. It's not gonna hurt it because this is an immersion brewing. So the longer you leave it in there, the more it's gonna extract. So you can, you can leave it in there for longer if you want, but four minutes is the rule of thumb. So not a lot of science there, but it's the sweet spot for getting a pretty good extraction. So after four minutes, you're just gonna press gently and you're gonna start getting some resistance. And this should take about 20 seconds. So it's gonna go easy at the top. And then as you compact those grounds into the bottom of the, of the um, container, it's gonna get a little bit harder and that's gonna take about 20 seconds. And you're just gonna press that all the way down. And the interesting thing is, it's, it's really similar to um, the AeroPress where it's uh, clearing off the sides as you go down. Okay, and then once it's pressed out, you have a beautiful cup of French press coffee. So again, this was 205 degree water, so that's gonna be super hot. I'm gonna set that over here just for a second. And cleaning uh, is always an issue with French press. So uh, what I do is I have uh, a filter. So this you can get this from any kitchen store, uh, and I'll link this up in the description. Uh, what I do when I'm done, um, after I've emptied all of the coffee out of the S-Pro, uh, I just dump it through a strainer like this, get some water in there, slosh it around, dump it out, dump it. 
you can get it right into the, the garbage, but it is kind of messy. French press is just kind of messy. So uh, nothing changes with the Espro. Still, um, cleanup is a bit of a pain. But uh, the cup that, and that is, that's a warm cup, but the cup that is, uh, is produced by the Espro is heads and shoulders to me above just a regular French, French press. So Espro, French press elevated. That's good.